Hi, my name is Helen Sykes. These are my four children. Well, three. One of them's not here. Um, what's your name? My name is Xavier James. I am nine years I wait. I'm twelve <laughs> years old and I go to Lafayette and I'm in fifth grade. <clears throat> my name is Destiny James. I'm in seventh grade, going on fourteen this year. I can't wait. And that's it. Miracle? My name is Miracle. I'm in I am nine. I'm in fourth grade. And I go to Lafayette. My brother is Benjamin. He's 16. He go to well. And he's at basketball practice right now, so that's why he's not here with us. Benjamin is my funny guy. Y'all will love him. He is hilarious. And then Xavier here. <laughs> he's my little sweetheart. And Destiny. I don't know, my baby. She's just a grumpy girl. I've been in Humboldt Park for about 15, 16 years. Um, it has been great. Um, I love it. My kids love it. They love going to Lafayette. I like Lafayette because of my teacher, my friends, and if they close, it'd be so terrible, devastating. A lot of these kids look forward to going to Lafayette because most schools don't challenge them the way that Lafayette does. We learn algebra. We learn about college. We're preparing for college. What's your hopes and dreams? Tell them what you what you tell them what you want to become. A singer. You want to be a singer. What do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, I want to be a teacher. I want to be a doctor. But if that don't work out, I want to be a teacher. What do you want to be, Miracle? A teacher. What do you want to be, Xavier? Fireman. It's going to be my team of good ones. <laughs> I stay on them. And I do instill in them their dreams and their hopes. You know, you can achieve anything if you put your mind to it. Just keep at it and they'll get it. I, I got faith in them. And with a mom like me, they going all the way. I'm just looking for a better job right now. Um... My dreams and hopes for my kids are just for them to grow up and become successful in life. And I, I want for each one of my kids. Especially this one. Yeah, I want to see her as an adult teaching kids. And then I want to see her get a kid like her in her classroom. And I want to hear her stories like mom this kid. <laughs> I can't wait because I'm going to say, Destiny, that was you in school. <laughs> my setback was when I got fired from my job. And that's where my problems began. <laughs> and that's where it went downhill from there. So I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm, I'm trying to get back to where I was at because I didn't, I didn't really, you know, living house to house is not a good thing. And it's not something that I, I foresee in my future or for my kids. And I don't want them to think that it's okay. What I'm looking for with reason to give is a reason to live. Like when Shannon, when when Shannon, when they first came to me with Shannon, it was around Christmas. It's the most difficult time for me at that time. And it was like she put a smile on my face. It was like you can almost see like the good. Like the good, and she was like, "Helen, I'm gonna help you in any way." I'm like, "That's I like that." I've been storing this in my kids for a while, but I didn't utilize it until Christmas, to before Christmas when I met Shannon. Then I utilized it um, on a daily basis. I don't have much, whether it's a dollar fifty cent, a burger from the store. Um, I help a homeless person out. Um, you have to give to receive. I'm like really in need of beds, bedding, like clothing for them. Um, they grow faster than I can keep them in clothes. As soon as they get an outfit the next week, they're out of it. <laughs> Especially this one. This one said laptop over here. <laughs> they want a computer because they got, I guess they have some, what's the program y'all do online? It's uh, the Paul Doctor. 
Reason to give is a big help to the community, to others, to families. Uh, it's a great place to be when you're feeling like you're alone because it's a family. It don't make me feel uncomfortable, so I'm blessed to be here. I, I'm really thankful to be at Reason to Give on a regular basis, on every Tuesdays. Me and my family thanks you. We appreciate you. Uh, this is not something I hope for no one to ever go through, but unfortunately in life, some things happen. You know, that's how you deal with it and move on from it. Um, if you hold it or bury it, it only keeps you where you're at. Um, I'm not looking to stay where I'm at. I'm looking to move forward, move up, move bigger. <laughs> um, I would like to thank Reason to Give. Because without them, they, they wouldn't be even happy sitting here right now. Because this one ready for workshop right now. She's talking about, do we got to go? 